Hello everyone, and welcome back to Dankenrampa 3. Oh dang, I'm level 98 now. <laughs> Once again, I did more grinding off screen. Um, and as for the theme for this episode, or at least for this little stretch right here, let's see. I've unlocked the one for, um, for Suichi. I love how it just view it shows like him screaming as one of the pictures. That's kind of funny, actually. Um, I got these two, the boys' badge collection and the girls' badge collection. I don't know what these are supposed to be exactly. Hmm. My guess is that like every character has an emblem, and these are like all the ones for the girls, or perhaps. I haven't really counted personally, but I know that like typically these games have like an equal number of boys and girls in them, so <laughs> that's probably what that's about. Um, I got the Extreme Monokuma. <laughs> it's super cool. Oh my goodness, that's kind of amazing. <laughs> I actually really like the look of that one. Um, and I got a uh, Kaede's one as well. Oh, that is bright. Oh, <laughs> Alright, cool. Um... As for usual, let's go back to, uh, Rantara's, because he is my favorite, or he's probably my favorite, um, theme so far. <laughs> so, what do we look at now? Um, do we just talk to people? I, I guess so. <laughs> so, Mugi, are you okay? She got a thousand yard stare. It's no use talking to her right now. You know, I've been thinking about something too. What if Kokichi is lying about this as well? I don't think he's lying about the end of the world stuff, but I think he might be lying about being the mastermind, because that's the kind of guy he is. The Ultimate Academy is a spaceship, and we're the 16 survivors of humanity. This killing game we've been playing. Why pit in, uh, the remnants uh, of humanity against each other? for a world that no longer exists. And the mastermind who engineered all this is in, and is forcing us to participate is Kokichi? Whoa, I think that's a new sprite. Uh, I can't, my mind feels like it's about to short circuit. Me too. Are you okay? Emeka, are you okay? I am okay. How could I be okay? The, uh, the outside world, everything's destroyed. Everyone's dead. Go for a moment. There we go. Everyone at school, everyone in my neighborhood, they're all dead. Calm down, Himeko. What am I supposed to do now? There's no point in living anymore. Hmm. Where'd Kaido go? Maki. Coward. I know. I just don't have the strength. I can't fight back. I can't do it. The whole truth was revealed, the conclusion. This is the end. There is no outside world, we're the only humans left. Trying to get outside was pointless, and we played the killing game for it. It was all meaningless. That's the conclusion. Nonsense. So what did all the others die for, then? So this is the despair that Gonta felt. So much despair, you want to die. It really is just like that. If it's uh, if it's like this, it would have been better if, we di if I died a lot of earlier. Then it's all over now. That's true. This is the end of everything. Our story ends here. There will be no more death and no more killing game. It's all pointless. The truth is... We all should have just died a long time ago. I don't even remember how I got back to my room. But before I knew it, I felt my body in the, in, a, in the bed. Numb. I didn't want to sleep. I just wanted to run away from the despair, but the sleep came anyway. Help oh, this again. I... What movie? Oh, this is Titanic! <laughs> I didn't recognize that at first. Uh, that's really funny, actually. You know, I, one of these times I was really hoping one of these was Zero Escape. I know that's not a movie, but hey, it is also made by Spike Chunsoft, so you never know. Did you know that when you talk to someone on a cell phone, you're not hearing their real voice? Their voice is converted to synthetic sound when you're both communicating, by breaking down their voice into various waveform, waveform patterns. The phone reassembles those patterns to recreate characteristics of the speaker, speaker's voice. 
This reduces the amount of voice data that needs to be sent to make the call possible. Also, you know how shaved ice has flavored syrups such as strawberry, melon, and lemon? They're all the same flavor, the only difference is the aroma and food coloring dye. Do you think these facts are lies? Don't you deny- uh, Do you deny these facts are lies? What would you- the world be like if all lies were denied outright? I bet it would be a very lonesome world. Lies are what makes the world go round. <laughs> Still? Wait, who's in the bottom left? Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of expecting that to be Kokichi and that he would like pop out of the bottom or something. That would have been funny. <laughs> Monokuma must not, uh, um, not be here anymore. There's no point to morning announcements now. So it's really over? There's no point to this killing game anymore. Because there's no reason to go outside. There's no reason to keep living. There's no reason to live. No reason to live. There's no reason to live. No reason to live. This is an epilogue. All that's left is to take up time. <laughs> Free time start. What a boring story. There's nothing I can do anymore. I wonder. What, what everyone else is doing. We just stayed in our room all day? I wonder what Kaido is doing. Okay. That's right, I wonder if Kaido is okay. Is he? It's no use. My mind isn't working, and my body... Oh! oh. If you're sir. <laughs> I don't know what movie this is precisely, but I love this. If you're searching for the meaning of life, you're already doing it wrong. Your life doesn't need meaning, it just needs a purpose. In other words, you just need something to live for. You can't, um, you can live for, uh, for spending time with loved ones or chasing dreams. You can even live for eating delicious food or playing games. Most people can get uh, by as long as they have something to live for. If you say Dank and Rompu is your reason to live, I could be happier! <laughs> it's been a real pleasure doing business with you. Oh my goodness. Spike Chunsoft, calm down. <laughs> I swear, I love the mood whiplash in this series. Like, it's almost Earthbound Lake. <laughs> and I haven't played an Earthbound Lake on the channel in a while. I should do that next. Now, oh, whatever. It's morning. How long have I been like this? I should get up, or I might not ever get up again. I don't care. If I just kill my... What? My body reacted reflexively. I re yeah, as I heard the doorbell. Ah. Someone surprised by, uh, by a surprise that I even managed to get out of bed. I went to the door. Who could it be? Okay. Oh. On my feet for the first time in a long while, I walked uneasily to the door. I slowly opened it and... Maki. You look terrible. Maki. Go take a shower or something. Anything to help your face. I'll be... Yep. Yeah. I'll be in the dining... Oh my goodness. <clears throat> I'll be in the dining hall with everyone else. Everyone? I'll be waiting, so hurry up. What's she planning? Maki spoke uh, curtly and left. Everyone is waiting at the dining hall. I guess I should go? I hurried and took a hot shower and left my room. You know, I'm gonna run the way. I wanna get every bit of experience I can because I'm really close to hitting level 99. And honestly, I kinda wanna hit level 99 on camera. Or on screen. Everyone was in the dining hall, besides Kokichi and Kaido. But mentally, they weren't really there. But the life has gone the life has gone out of their eyes. Everyone here looks terrible. Really, even I look terrible. Well, your face always looks like that. What are you talking about? We're discussing how we how we how we want to die, right? What? I want to go some uh, go without suffering. Maki, can you do something about that? Sure, before that, take a look at this. Is that a flashback light? Oh, we found it. Hold on. 
First things first. Maybe the end of the world never wants to die, but you know what? We we have to grind for our coins. The okay. What is that? Maki, why do you have that? It was on top of the table when I went to the dining hall this morning. It was just sitting there? Kuichi probably just put it there. To confirm the truth, perhaps. If we use the flashback light, we may recover memories that co um, corroborate his story. But we're supposed to use the flashback light to confirm the truth Kukiki showed us. We don't need to confirm anything. We saw the outside world for ourselves. Hey. You want to die comfortably? I can help you, but we should check this flashback light first. What? Why did we have to do that? It's the only thing we can do right now. If we're going to die, then we might as well do anything we can. We'll have no regrets that way. And even if it is dangerous, I wouldn't ma it wouldn't matter anymore, right? Either way, there's nothing for us to lose. We don't have any hope left. So let's do what we can. Well, okay, things won't end up worse than they already are. So when you kill me, will it be like I'm falling asleep? Then it's decided. Kipo Suichi, are you fine with that? Yeah, very well then. Yeah. And thus, I was decided. Fairly painless. A flashback light suddenly appeared. Nothing could be done more obvious and suspicious. Because our spirits are already broken, we had no we had nothing to lose anyway. Okay, I'm going to turn it on. Maki switched on the light. At that moment. Huh? Oh, we're doing this again. That's it. I remember. Everything is connected. And we had forgotten. We had forgotten that everything is connected. Hope's Peak Academy? It all started at that academy, a government-backed school that nurtured the most talented students in various subjects. Hope's Peak. Oh, this is a flash... <laughs> this is a flash from the past. <laughs> And, and the event that tore that school apart changed the world. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Oh my goodness, I forgot that they called it that. <laughs> okay, so I remember the first and second game had like apocalypses as well. But they, al they, they always call it the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Which just sounds like so much of an overkill of a name for me that I just kind of love it. <laughs> <clears throat> it triggered. Oh my goodness. It triggered a wave of terrorism and war across the world. Humanity's true despair. Half the world was destroyed as a result of the terrible violence. And that tragedy was caught by a single high school girl. Junko. Yep, there she, there she is. The ultimate despair. Junko Anishima. This is the villain of the series, and she typically doesn't show up until, like, the 11th hour. <laughs> She used whatever means necessary to paint the world in despair. Oh, it's all the kids from the first game! The killing game of the 78th um, class of Hope Speak Academy was the same way. Tracked by the ultimate despair, forced into a killing game. But after Junko and Ashima died, the case was closed and the world began to slowly recover. Oh, not necessarily. Wait, what the... By Junko's disciples, the remnants of despair weren't, down, weren't done so in chaos. The Future Foundation fought against them, trying to restore et order. And that was the plot of the second game. The war between hope and despair grew more and more extreme. The fight raged on, but came to a sudden end. And right then, it was from then on that, uh, that we remembered. It was be the beginning of our truth. One day, terrible despair suddenly rained from the sky. A countless number of meteorites fell upon the world, carrying an unknown virus. Wait, what? It, emboldened by uh, the overwhelming despair, the remnants cried, Hurry, um, humanity deserves damnation. The Future Foundation was overwhelmed by the renowned despair and quickly lost influence. But then... Mak Makoto Naegi, uh, that's the main... I think that's how you say it. That's the main character from the first game. Uh, together with the former members of the Future Foundation... Started the Goffer Project at Hope's Peak Academy. Dang, he's always going back to that school, I swear. <laughs> only geniuses can overcome nature, and only hope can overcome despair. Our young geniuses may escape this earth and become the seeds of the future. 
That is the only hope for humanity. With those principles, the Gopher Project began and 16 Hope's Peak students were selected. We were those 16 students. That's it. We weren't all attending different high schools. We were all attending the rebuilt Hope's Peak Academy. Right, because everyone at that academy is an ultimate. We were the students that applied after learning uh, learning Hope's Peak uh, was rebuilt. And the new Hope's Peak was like, uh, like the last, in that it accepted applications from, for talented students and cultivated ultimate talents. Hope's Peak Academy was a large school, so we were all in separate classes. But we were all students at Hope's Peak Academy. When are they going to bring up the second game? From the, can uh, the candidates, the 16 of us were selected for the, for the Gopher Project because... No, we weren't selected. We were the only ones left. What? Whoa. The mysterious virus from the meteorites had spread rapidly around the world. The entire world was on the brink of, ex brink of extinction. Hope had almost triumphed, but cruel despair came roaring back to overtake the world. Oh my god, yes, we know. <laughs> but we just happened to be immune to the virus. That was the reason we were chosen for the Gopher Project. Wait, why are we immune? I finally remembered. But what the... This world? You mean the world from the second game? Because that was like a big VR thing. I also saw screenshots from the second game in that. <laughs> That's it. Everyone, did you all remember? Yes, I can vividly recall everything now. Why? How could we forget something so important? We are students of Hope Peak Academy. We are the symbols of hope entrusted with the survival of humanity. Except for one person. Kokichi, the mastermind behind this killing game, his organization's real identity. And so is he a follower of Junko? Remnants of Despair. I guess? Mm. It's so obvious, a killing game like this could only be done by the Remnants of Despair. Which means that, that this killing game is just like the one that came before. It's a battle between hope and despair. A killing game that mires hope in, a, in dark despair. Wait, hold on. If this was such an important killing game, then why Kokichi abandoned it? There's, that's all something the realms of despair would do. They, uh, they admire Junko and Ashima, right? He made an elaborate plan to cause us to despair, but he got bored of that plan. Wanting to feel despair of your plan being ruined, that's the ultimate despair for you. What's wrong, Maki? Nothing, I'm just not convinced. It's probably fine though, it's not a big deal. Are you sure? We finally learned the truth, but we still can't do anything. Even if we get out of the academy, the outside world is still destroyed. There's no hope left for us. No, we need to we need to become that hope. What's wrong with you all of a sudden? If all hope is lost, then it's up to us to become that hope. After all, we're students of Hope Speak Academy, aren't we? We're all that's left of the sixteen who survived the battle between hope and despair. If we give up now, everything, everyone who, who fought on the side of hope will have fought for nothing. Fought for nothing. That's what my inner voice is telling me. There's no ma that no matter what, I cannot abandon hope. I cannot give up. Yes, that's what is ur it's urging me to do. So I will not despair. Even if, it's, if, even if it's only a little, I will move forward towards hope. Kibo. Right now, there, are no, there is no use in thinking about whether our lives have meaning or not. Because as long as we're alive, we still have the power to decide that meaning for ourselves. That's what I believe hope is. That's what hope is, I see. Yeah, you're right. We're the students of the new of the new Hope's Peak Academy, rebuilt at, um, as the symbol of hope. If we, the students of Hope's Peak, give up, the world the world really will be plunged into despair. I got it. In the end, it's all about willpower. I'm gonna live till the uh, till the end and never give up. We won't be able to do anything in that dis in that destroyed world. But making it impossible the impossible possible is what magic is all about. It's pain, but it'll be worth it. I'll live. I'll live for the hundredth million more years. You guys. That's right, let's do it. Right. Let's fight together, against despair. Yes, as long as we stand together without giving in to despair, we will fight. Uh, find a new hope. 
Oh boy. Okay, so this is when the game starts to get... I'm gonna say more philosophical. At all, uh, In all three games is a point where the game just starts doing this, talks about hope and despair a lot, and starts to focus less on the killing game. I want to confess something, though. Frankly, I'm really not a fan of, like, the final stretch of most of the Dank and Rampa games. I don't know, I, I find the killing game really engaging, and when it, try when it goes off the beaten path and starts being about hope and despair and getting out of the academy, I don't know, I, I don't find that nearly as engaging for whatever reason. I mentioned this before, that I've always described these games as murder mysteries, and I guess that deviation from that just doesn't really suit me personally, but... Whatever, I mean, the final chapters of these games are typically very interesting anyway. I mean, if, if, if just to explain everything. <laughs> we each felt the power of hope coursing through us, driving our bodies. The hope born in this academy, a tree of life with roots deep down deep. Also, uh, take a shot every time someone says hope or despair. <laughs> it was supporting each, each and every one of us. Don't actually do that, by the way. Motivation is rushing through my entire body. This is the power of hope. With a laugh like that, you sound less like a mage and more like a wicked witch. Kogichi may have left the flashback light to make us give up, but if that was his plan, it failed. It's true, it does not It does seem as though Kokichi's plan went wrong somehow. The only person who can give us the flashback light is Kokichi. Ah, so what's our plan now? What are you going to do about Kokichi? We're going to stop you know who, the remnant of despair, or the despair will never end. We have to save Kaido too. Yeah, of course. He's so stupidly positive, he's just the kind of guy we need at a time like this. With Kaido by our side encouraging us, then even if we are the only people left, I think we can still find new hope. Yeah, that's exactly right. I knew that even in a situation like this, he'd think of something. The problem is, where are Kokichi and Kaido? Uh, they're in the Exosol hangar. Both of them? Kokichi did say that Kaido would be trapped in there, but by chance, I happened to see Kokichi leaving the hangar during the nighttime yesterday. By chance, really? I bet the tr uh, the truth is uh, where you is um yeah you were worried about Kaido and we're watching uh, the hangar all day. <laughs> Looks like uh, that that was the case. It's not like I was worried about Kaido or anything. I just had nothing else to do. Oh, you like Kaido? Don't lie. Also, I'm used to watching others, so it wasn't any trouble. It's important to us uh, for assassins to watch their targets and think of ways to kill them. Stop. We were not. We were just getting all mushy, but you had to make it all bloody instead. We we know that they're in the, we know they're in the Exosol hangar, but how do we get them out? By the way, yeah, the hangar has an alarm system that'll go off if anyone approaches the shutter. On top of that, Kokichi has the alarm remote key to shut off the alarm system. And there's also an electric barrier, right? You'll need to do something about that too. Yeah, but even approaching the control panel will set off the alarm too. So many problems right from the start. Where should what should we do? It'll be fine. I think I know how to stop the alarm system and the electric barrier. Does she have an idea? Hmm. How do you plan to get the pa uh, get past the alarm system and barrier with the electro hammer? Yeah, it does recharge. I was about to say, if you get the control panel with it, it should disable the electric barrier. We did the same thing to the electronic lock on the on the exit out to the outside world. But it won't work the same way on the alarm system, will it? The alarm system will go off before we can even get close enough to use the electric hammer. That's true. Then we'll use this. Ah, this is... <laughs> yeah, it's a bomb that, like, disables electronics. Why do you have that, Maki? They were only three and I thought Kokichi had them. I stole it from his pocket. Oh, during that time. How smart. As expected, your kleptomania and terrifying glare are both first class. The terrifying glare part was a joke, so can you stop glaring me so terrifyingly? Nice work, Maki. We can use the electro bomb to get inside the hangar. Not only that, it will disable all communication. That should include the, ro the remote controlling co um, control Kokichi used for the exorcals. I really like that picture for some reason of him like the three exosols behind him. <laughs> if he leaves the electro bomb in front of the shutter, it should affect the entire hangar. The Gokichi will be as good as butt naked. All he'll be able to do is hold his crotch and run. But he might still be able to control an exosol from inside. But naked. <laughs> uh, no, I'm pretty sure he'll be clothed. Then we shall bring the electro hammers as precaution against the exosols. Yeah, dang, I just left mine sitting around without charging it. Sorry, but I did too. 
takes 24 hours to charge an electric hammer, so we'll have to wait until tomorrow morning. We're going to wait until tomorrow? What about the hangar? We don't really have a choice, do we? Without the hammers, it's impossible. Maki, I know that you don't want to wait a single minute more than necessary, but we shouldn't try this until tomorrow, when everyone is ready. That's true. Fine, that's what we'll do then. Uh, this time we'll definitely kill him. Kill? Wait. No, Maki, we can't. Even if he's a remnant of despair, that doesn't... But if we kill him, then everything will end. We have no other choice. For that reason, I will kill him. But you can't. I understand how you feel, Maki, but we'd feel bad after, kill after we killed him. It would be no different than uh, the killing game that had caused us so much suffering. Yeah, that's the sort of thing that Rems of Despair of Akira would do. Akira? Kaido said the killing is wrong, remember? So we can't. Fine, if everyone thinks that way, then I'll listen to you guys. But if it seems like anything dangerous is going to happen, then I'll definitely kill him. Wow, Maki's actually reliable. <laughs> no, she's dangerous. There's nothing more dangerous than a heated Maki roll! <laughs> if if a Maki roll gets too heated, you could burn your tongue. Did you see those eyes? They were like a predator looking at its prey. Uh, you may have deserved that, Himeko. Oh my goodness. It's true that this this is uh, quite unexpected. I didn't think we'd be able to stand together as, uh, as uh, one again. And it's thanks to Maki. While we uh, were uh, sedimentary, fe uh, feeling sorry for ourselves, she was planning. I suppose it might also be thanks to Kaido, because Kaido was worried about her. She promised to work hard to do her best. And of course, if I pointed that out, she'd ask me if I want to die again. What are you looking at? Sorry. Sorry. Let's do our best, then the three of us can train together again. Yeah, right. We, fi uh, we finalized our plan uh, to get to the Exosol hangar tomorrow morning. Till then, we would wait for the Electro Hammers to recharge and finish preparations. We split up, focus it, and determined. I'm not gonna lie, I did not expect more free time in this chapter after that, but <laughs> I'm assuming that's what's gonna happen now. I need to make up for lost time. There has to be something I can do. No, that's not true. There has to be something I can do. Right, I should scout the area. It would be a good idea to check out the scene before we execute the plan. And I'm working worried about Kaido. Oh, dang. Yeah, they really did take him with them. Uh, I'm sure he doesn't want me to worry about him, but I have to. Alright, let's go. Oh, it's not free time. Okay. Uh, Uh, where are we going now, by the way? Hold on. What? Oh, we're, we're just going there. Okay, um... Oh, uh, hi. Oh, if I keep going, I should reach the hangar. If Kokichi is in the hangar, there's a good chance the Exosols are patrolling nearby. I should be careful. Oh, is that why this place was was set up so strangely? Yeah, it is. Okay. Huh? Oh, Monokuma! This is the first time I've seen him in the wild. Are the Exosols protecting him? But why now? And why all four of them? Kokichi is controlling them, right? So why would he do that? What if the Exosols are here? They aren't guarding the hangar. This is my chance. I should hurry, be care uh, but carefully. I don't want to draw attention. Hold on. I need to check something. I'm left-clicking it. I'm not sure if I can get it from here. Yeah, okay. I was I was wondering if that was maybe a hidden Monokuma, because that would have actually maxed out my level. But apparently not. No, it's still up. The alarm is enabled. The electric barrier is up too. I can't get close to the shutter. And I only saw four exosols. I don't know where the other one is. Perhaps inside the hangar? Hopefully I can find a good spot to survey the scene. If I remember correctly, there's a bathroom with a small window there. 
But really? Oh, right, okay, yeah. There's a window, the bathroom window. Can I see inside from there? I peeked in the small window and saw a silhouette of the on the other room. Ah! Oh, dang! What are you doing here? Don't shout, stupid! Kokichi will hear us! Uh, is he close by? No, I'm locked up in this bathroom, but Kokichi's just outside that door. It'll be bad news if he sees you here. He's got the exosols with him. Yeah, that's true. Wait, so what are you doing here? What am I doing here? Saving you, of course. What? By yourself? No, I'm just scouting the place. Tomorrow morning, we'll all come in to rescue you. All of you? It was Maki's idea. Honestly, I... I had given up. We had all given up. But not Maki. She did everything she could to get you back. It's because she believes in you, Kaito. She knows that you would never give up, no matter how bad things got. Y yeah of course <laughs> I'm Kaito Momota. Even if the world has ended and humanity has gone extinct, I can't give up. You know, does this mean that he's actually gone to space now? <laughs> By technicality. Yeah, that's right, Kaito. Don't you worry. I'll do something about all this. That's a promise. All you guys are working so hard, so I can't just sit back and relax. There's something I want to ask him. I don't care if he's over overconfident or acting. I just want to hear him say, don't worry, it'll be okay. I'm happy you guys want to save me, but stay safe, okay? Getting close to an exosol is dangerous, even if you've got an electro hammer. Got it. Uh, by the way, are you feeling okay? Apart from the injury, obviously. Who, me? Yeah, of course. There's nothing. Anyway, Kokichi should be back soon, so we better end our chat. Ah, uh, okay, sure. And hey, Kaito. About what happened with Gonka. Shuichi, I leave the rest to you. What? While I'm gone, you gotta support everyone. Especially Maki Roll. She can be reckless sometimes. Yeah. You're an impressive detective, through and through. You might not only reach the truth, but something even beyond it. And don't forget, you're not alone. Don't try to do everything yourself. It's only gonna wear you out. When times are hard, you gotta rely on your friends. Rely on your friends. That's it. That's what I've been neglecting. So I'm leaving the rest to you for now. You got it, Shuichi. Kaido, thank you. Thank you for being my friend. I understand. All right, now get going before Kokichi comes back. You're right. See you tomorrow, Kaito. Hmm. I think we've made amends. Uh, after leaving Kaido with a smile, I returned to my room. There's no point of wandering around. I should stay in my in my room and relax. I tried to get myself into the right mindset for the final battle, while I was me meditating on it. Hmm. It became nighttime before I knew it. Hmm. You know, I'm gonna leave it off here. I'll see you folks next time. Thanks for watching.